Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be checking out one of the biggest abandoned high schools we've ever been to. There's a whole lot of stuff left in here. And we'll also be going over the history very shortly. Also, there will be part two next week. So stay tuned for that. All right, so now we're inside the school. And this is pretty much the first thing we've come across, the auditorium. It's not burned. It's really not in too terrible of condition. At least the seats, they're all mostly intact. There's a lot of artwork and graffiti around. And there is an up upstairs to the auditorium as well. I'm about to head up there. Highland Park, Michigan is a town completely surrounded by Detroit. In 1900, the population of Highland Park was 427. The population began to grow rapidly after Ford opened a new plant there in 1910. This plant would have the first moving assembly line in the world. Because of this, Highland Park would have to build more schools, one of them being Highland Park High School. The high school would open in 1915 with enrollment of 850 students. The school would quickly reach capacity, and the second unit of the high school was opened in 1918. At this time, the high school was separated by gender, and a junior college was also housed in the same building. A few years later, the high school would become co-ed. In 1927, a vocational education building was constructed, which included an automobile repair class. At its peak, the high school had about 3,000 students, and the highest population for the town's census was 52,959 in 1930. By the 1940s, Highland Park began losing population. During this time, residents began leaving for the suburbs, especially white residents. By the late 1960s, over half of the school was black. In the early 1970s, a plan was created to build a new high school in Highland Park, and the junior college, now called a community college, would occupy the entire building. In 1975, a huge fire did extensive damage to the original gym and caused the roof and gym floor to cave in. In 1977, the new Highland Park Community High School opened and the old building was now only a community college. The former burned out gym was renovated into a large space for performing arts and special events in 1985. By the late 1980s, the school was running at a deficit and after missing two consecutive annual audits, state funding was withheld. By the end of 1995, the college would close down. However, the school would reopen as the Highland Park Career Academy, which was an alternative high school program which offered courses about nursing, dental hygiene, auto repair, and more. The school district continued to lose students throughout the 2000s, and the school would close down for good in 2009. A mannequin head. Here we have the diving board. As you can see, well, people have thrown a lot of stuff in there. Looks like it's a 10 foot pool. Just where the spectators would sit. Now we got some more rooms this way. Looks 
walk her back in the hallway. Okay, we came to this wall now and get a little closer, but these things say class of 2008. Maybe that was the last year this was open. Like a little office. Oh, there's a calendar. Let's see if it's also. Oh, this calendar's from 2010. Oh, wow, look at this. What's this? Wow, there's a lot in here. Oh, man, even more in here. Types of stuff on the ground. Like a storage room. Looks like, like um microscopes. Part of them. This might have been the um science room. Gym up here we have we got two levels of tracks so we went up to the first level in the gym originally thought it was a track possibly but it looks like maybe there's just bleachers up here 